Desmond asked me to marry him and he's still incarcerated. It's been a year, still no sentence, no verdict. I hate you hurt. I hate those lies I told you. I want to marry you and only you. I want to look back 20 years into our long life marriage and say, look where we come from. Look at what got us here. I love you so much, babe. So much. Will you honestly, honestly marry me? Baby, I want this with you forever. Forever lifetime with you. Only you. What would it look like to marry Desmond in prison? Feeling that you're alone. Knowing that you're alone. It's a scary part. During courthouse hearings, the sheriff brings the inmates around back. It's hours of them sitting in a hot bus with only breaks to use the bathroom. But I'm always there to see him just to wave. Well, it's a big day today. Yeah. Um, I know you've been coming here a lot. And I thought maybe let's just take a quick minute before we go in and just talk about what's going to happen today. Um, okay. Today's a ruling day. The last couple of times we've been in um, has been a testimony on whether the evidence that the um, sheriff's department found on uh, your fiance as well as many of his co-defendants should be admissible. Right. Um, so hopefully today's a good day and she, you know, determines that that evidence was just was uh, obtained unconstitutionally. Whether we get a good or bad ruling, this thing isn't going to end today. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have to set another date okay. and um, probably a trial date and probably a pretrial date, um, which allows us to continue negotiations with the assistant district attorney in, in their office. Okay. Um, hopefully get a good and amicable resolution yes. to the case. <laughs> And hopefully a fast resolution, because yeah. I know this has been going on for so long with, yes, with your families. Um, so let's walk on up together, and okay. uh, if you have any questions, again, just, you know, let me know, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Shit. Good morning. How do I see myself? Attractive, beautiful, glamorous, having a happy glow off of me, with a cathedral train, lots of lace, detail, pearls, diamonds everywhere. I want to be able to say, I feel happy. I'm beautiful in this dress. I'm sexy in this dress. I want to be able to smile. Well, I was coming here to tell you sad that me and Desmond get married. What? Girl, why are you married and in jail? What is it about fucking Desmond that you got to marry fucking Desmond in jail? Kill stop! Please stop the hall. You can get to her through it better than this. What? She just said she married Desmond in jail! What? Tell me that again. She just said she's married Desmond Saturday in fucking jail. That's true? My heart is sad. For what? 
And because I love him. Because you love him! Kimberly! Thank you for calling Cash Cow. Will we say yes? This is Alana. May I help you? Okay, we offer PD, which is um, due back on your next PD. Um, we offer title loan. If you have a clear free title to your vehicle, you can get a title loan on that. If you're looking for a personal loan, we don't do that. It would be a finance company. You're welcome. No problem. Without my mother's blessings, it was like God's intervention. Because on Saturday, I was told the warden denied our request for a ceremony. And I thought, now I have time to think. slavery to tear you apart. And instead of using the whip, they use mother time. They use hardships. They may not hang you from the tree, but the experience itself is just like when they used to hang people, but barely hang them and leave their feet just tiptoeing around in the mud so that they're constantly on their tiptoes fighting for their life. That is a daily experience when you are an incarcerated family. You are hanging on by a rope, tiptoeing in the mud, just trying to get enough solid dirt under your feet to still live. I keep thinking to myself, 
What would it mean to marry someone behind bars? What would it look like? 10 years of waving between walls, gates, courtrooms, and lawyers. I go to bed at night holding myself, not feeling that body, not getting that human contact. I have dreams that they are letting him out, and then I wake up smiling, but still sad, still alone, still in limbo, and maybe that's how it's going to be for now, held by time, connected by love, and love alone. Who we have become now by the power of God, kept us strong and hate free, babe. I love you, babe. You are my forevermore, my wife. Forever. Thank you.